Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I basically, I'm going to be doing a first impressions on <clears throat> Fenty Beauty. That is right, oh my god. So I literally just got home from this event. I was so, so upset that I missed the first event when Fenty launched in the UK. They are exclusive to Harvey Nichols for all of, all of you that don't know. There was a massive, like, what? Rihanna's doing makeup? Who? Fenty Beauty? Exclusive to one place? Like, the queue was like, there was a queue outside the building. I'm not just saying for the launch. There was a queue there for like months. I am blown away by how amazing this brand has just blossomed. And there's so many elements to it which I think is so cool. Like branding, packaging, formulations, shades. Like Rihanna. Your slay. Obviously, you guys know that I've already done a previous Fenty First Impressions review on the foundations. So if you want to see that, then make sure you check out that other video. But today's video, we are going to be doing first impressions on the brand new lip products, and they are called Mademoiselle. So let's have a look and see what's in this goodie bag. The event was super, super cute. We got to hang out with the team there and the Fenty Beauty team, and also a guy called Art by Hector or Hector. That's his Instagram name. Let me show you what he looks. Like. So yeah, this is a photo of us. I don't know if you can see. And then this is me and him. Look at him. He's such a cutie. Oh my god. And he's literally flawless. Like, Hector, if you're watching this, you are flawless, babe. Like, no face tune required. Yeah, his Instagram's art by Hector. And he's basically one of the Fenty Beauty makeup artists. And he did some lip demos in front of us there, which was so amazing and so beautiful to see how these products come to life. And also, like, how Fenty Beauty products are used to create a whole look. So let's have a look and see what's in here. So we were given four shades. There are more shades in the collection. This is what we got. This is what they look like. So the shades that I got today. So we've got Midnight Wasabi, which is like a green. We also got Saw C, which is like an orange. Um, and maybe I'll show you what these look like and actually swatch them. Then we've got Candy Venom. This is Midnight Wasabi. I thought this was such an unusual color. It's like green. Why is this not focusing? Why? Why? And then up to no good, where it kind of looks like an orange nude. Anyway, let me swatch these. Let me get these out of the boxes because we're like, what, what does this look like? So a Mademoiselle is what it's called. It's a bit of a mouthful. So it's like Mademoiselle, but Mademoiselle. And it says plush matte lipstick. Here is the claim. So the product claim, I always love reading this because I think it's really, really important what products claim so we know what our expectations are. All day color intensity, weightless matte finish, and the rest is in French. And I was going to try and read that and embarrass myself in front of camera. So all day color intensity and weightless matte finish sounds amazing. I like the sound of this. So let's have a look at what the component looks like. Very, very cool. Very Fenty. I love the packaging. I just think it's it's so cool and crisp and like, oh, I love it. I just feel like they get it right. If we open it, no. Do we twist it? Oh, no, we pull. Okay, cool. And then this is what it looks like. So it is a wind up component, guys. And you can see there what that color looks like. I'm going to swatch these for you. So let's move on straight to swatching. I'm going to try and swatch the first one. This is called Up To No Good. So this is the color. I actually really like this colour. It's more of like a nudie kind of peachy tone. And what's really, really cute, I don't know if you can see that as well, is you've got the FB. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you've got the FB for Fenty Beauty on the actual lip thing, which is so cute. I'm so sad I'm ruining it. But oh. So this is the first shade, which I really, really like. I definitely need to try it on the lips to see how they feel because swatching it and trying it on your lips are two different things. Next up, I'm very excited to use this. I think a lot of people would be like, really? But I'm like, girl, yes. This is called Midnight Wasabi. And Wasabi is almost like a very unusual green color. I hate to actually use this on a blonde model. And I've got to say, it looks so good. I'm actually wearing like a greenish top today. So I'm actually thinking I might wear this one for you guys. Look how good that payoff is, guys. So good. All right, next up, we've got Candy Venom, and this looks like more of a kind of like intense fuchsia color. Wow, this is definitely very, very cool. I must say, guys, like one swatch and then woo, and then I just put another one to be neat. But look at that. And lastly, we've got Saw C, like Saucy, but S A W 
see. Looks to me like more of a true orange color. A little bit harder to pull off, I think, but really, really nice. And we can definitely see now how peachy and more neutral and nude the top one is compared to all those. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna be going through and kind of following exactly what Hector kind of showed us. So obviously there are no lip liners within the Fenty range at the moment. So he literally applied it just with the applicator, which I was really, really impressed with. My background is a makeup artist, so I love watching artistry. I love watching other professionals like do their thing. So I'm always bouncing off of that. So let's try it on the lips and see what it looks like. Wow. Okay guys, so firstly, what do we think? Like I would never, ever, ever think about wearing a green lip. Like that's kind of out there for me. But when I saw it on the female model, I was like, that looks amazing. And I actually really, really like it. I don't know what it is. The guy. I don't know what's happened to me guys. So let's just have a look. So, okay. I was really worried it might make my teeth look really yellow or weird, but they look okay. They're all right, they're all right. I actually love the fact that I'm wearing this kind of like greenish top. So we've got, we've got this whole like monochromatic thing going on at the moment. Going back to the product, what do I think? So these I think are about to be launched exclusively to Harvey Nichols. I think they retail that around about 16 or 17 pounds, something along the lines, which I think is a good price point for this kind of product. And it is super, super creamy, really comfortable. The pigment payoff is absolutely amazing. And I think that it's a great product. Like I'm actually blown away. I was really worried about getting something defined on my lips because usually I love a pencil, but just the way it's kind of designed is it is on a slight angle. So if you need to, you can kind of tip it and go around and treat it as a lip pencil in its own right. I'm really, really amazed. I just want to do a little test. I think this is really, really important. And I'm going to roll it right the way up to see how much product we actually get. And this is it fully up, which I think is a good amount of products. I'm really, really glad to see it. It's almost the full kind of spectrum of the, the little nozzle bit. And I absolutely love the fact that it's got a really, really good color payoff. That's a massive win. It feels really, really comfortable on the lips. And I would definitely say that it's more of a creamy matte. It's definitely not fully matte. I don't feel as though it's gonna set. Will it transfer? Let's do the test. Yeah, it totally did, guys. <laughs> So maybe if you're wearing one of these, I wouldn't go kissing anyone too soon because yeah, I think it's gonna stain your straw and maybe transfer onto their lips. So definitely, like I said, because it is more creamy. Um, now I have just put it on, maybe it might set as we leave it on for a little bit longer. I really, really, really like the color. I think it's really cool. I don't know why. Cause what do you think? What do you think of this? Anyway, just to sum it up guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and first impressions. If you want to see any more like this, um, please do let me know. Like I said, this is something that's brand new. It's literally just hitting the shelves right now. So I want to share it with you guys so you know like what is good out there. So do I approve? Yes, I do. I definitely approve. It is a win. It is a thumbs up for me, guys. This product definitely gets the thumbs up. I love it. It's comfortable. I would reach for it. Definitely would wear it during the day. And I like it because it's not too dry and I can still talk. I'm having this conversation and I feel comfortable. Not like, oh my mouth is so dry. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other social media platforms, which are just down below. Yeah, I will see you guys soon. And until then, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.